Hey guys, Kills of Frills here, and we're back with another community base tour. So this is uh, Intercity's base tour. I'm pretty sure we've done, uh, I think this is like the second one we've done of his now. Which or the third, possibly. It, it just likes to build, and he has amazing stuff all over the place all the time. So this is his new map that he's been working on. There's a few bases on here I'm going to go and uh, explore and find out. But first, we've got this nice treehouse here in the snow biome area. It's looking nice. Nice size as well. Like it. There's a rock on the table. Don't know if that's meant to be there. It's just a random spawn rock right up in the, the uh, <laughs> up in the treehouse. I like this, actually. This is quite nice. I think he's connected all the bases up as well. With what looks like a zip line, almost like a um, like a cable cart system going on, which is pretty cool. So this is obviously the helicopter crash site, and that's his. Well, I would say little treehouse, but it's not. And that is that is pretty damn big. Oh yeah, he supported it there, like underneath, supported it onto the tree, and then it comes out a little bit more, and then supports it again. Okay, right. Where are we gonna go? I believe the whole area is connected. I'm gonna head. Um, feel like we do that side of the island, then swing back around and come back down this side. So we'll get up into the cable cart system. And we'll take the zip line over that way to the other side of the island. This is pretty intense, though. This goes all the way around to the other bases, all through the system. Possible blueprint um, mod for this one, I think. I'm not entirely sure. Could be. Might not be. Like the way he's cornered that off so you don't fall down. With the, uh, the blueprint system mod, you could just literally copy and paste, put it down, build it, put it down, build it, so you don't have to do it. Or we could have done it freehand, I don't know. But uh, we shall see. We'll, uh, we'll have a little look. What's that down there? I think he's built like a little viewing platform up here. Yeah, it is. It's a nice little view platform. Wow, look at that. <laughs> this is nice, actually. I kind of like this. Just sitting up in top of the mountains, just looking over the uh, the island. Jesus, what's that down there? Is that, is that even marked on? That's not even marked on the map. Calvin's there, though. I'm going to have to fly around to see if I can find all the locations. But I do believe the zipline takes us there. Okay, looks like we're approaching the uh, location. Looks like a giant house. But we shall see. This one goes directly down to it. Right, what have we got? I'll tell you, I'm first things first. I uh, I really like that. Double stacked electric fence. That's pretty cool. Both fences work as well. Got loads of spikes down the side of the wall. Yeah, that is uh, it's a pretty nice defensive wall. I like that. That is good. I like the double stacked electric fence. It'll stop from jumping over. Right, what have we got here? We've got some sort of giant manor house. Still checking out the wall as well. Not entirely sure what this is. But yeah, electric fence all the way around the top. He said he's still working on some locations. Understandable. We've got ourselves a nice gate. Okay, wow, this takes this goes all the way around. Look at all the spikes as well. Sod that. I would I'd might I'd use spike traps more if I could blueprint them. But you can't. That's a nice little entrance system going on right there. Nothing is getting in there. Like, literally nothing. Let's have a look around the uh, the front of the house and see what, what, see what it looks like. So, what have we got? We've got a giant mansion sitting there. That is a pretty damn good view as well, though. I like that. I like the way this looks. A lot of windows as well. We're going through the front door instead of the back entrance area. A couple of guards at the front. A couple of blade traps. These are deadly, these things. Have a look. What we got? Nice rug on the floor. Nice welcome rug. Obviously, audio box to uh, set the alarm. We've got ourselves like a dining room area. Nice high ceilings. Nice flush beams. I like it. Wow. Found the bar. That is a lot of booze, man. Definitely found the bar. Yeah, dining room area is quite nice. I like this. Got ourselves a little table lamp there. More rugs on the table. And a... Calvin. What happened? Is he, is he dead? <laughs> I don't know if he's dead or not. He looks pretty dead to me. He's now part of the gore chair. Sit on his face. 
There, yeah, no, Calvin's, Calvin's pretty dead. He's pretty dead. I like this, though. This is nice. I like the way this looks. Nice, relaxing, chilling out area with all the chat tables and chairs and the gore chairs and everything. Then I think we've got a door that leads to the back. Nope, not to the back. Okay, so we've got a door here that leads into stick storage, traps, music, uh, alarm boxes. Oh, this is like the garage. Okay, so you can get to this from... Okay, so you can get to this from the outside part of the house. Okay, so it looks like we're in the left wing right now. That looks good, though. I like that. Nice way of getting all the gear out. Makes the place look used when it's got stuff like this, like the traps and stuff like that, you know? Nice couple of windows around the top. I like that, actually. He's popping out the top row. That, that looks pretty good. That is cool. And then nice large windows there. Leading to the outside. Having a lot of light coming in. And then we were out again into the back area with like uh, the little garden bit. Cut the scarecrows, some flowers, some water, which is nice. Right, let's push forward. Have we done this room? Yes, but that's the booze room. We'll go. That's the entrance. That's downstairs. What's this? Oh, just a cupboard under the stairs. Gavin's house. And here we've got kitchen area. Nice sink in with the table there. That actually looks pretty cool. Oh, that's clever. Two shelves for the firewood. And then you can put it on top of... Oh, I like that. Okay, I like that idea. I didn't know you could stick them on there. Okay, double up the shelves so you can put it on it. Then we've got another dining room area. That's the way we came in. Again, more windows. Giant windows look nice. Nice seating area. Nice little... There's, I like that as well. Was it? Quarter log. Plank on it. Quarter log. Yeah, that's nice. How did he get that like that, though? Oh, because they're full beams. That That's not a full beam, though. That part there. That doesn't look like a full beam. Strange. Very strange. Don't know how that's happened, but... It is. That looks like a quarter log. So we've got... Yeah, we have another dining room area. Nice uh, fireplace. Nice rug system again. More big windows. I like... The, it looks spacious and like you know there's a lot of natural light coming in it looks spacious i like it i like the way that looks that leads us into the kitchen area where we came from right this takes us down the hallway i believe that's this floor done let's go upstairs and see what we can find up here right so what have we got we've got a, another seating area which is good another fireplace there just a chilling out zone i suppose and in here we've got Another bedroom. Well, a bedroom. It's the first one we've come across. Nice fireplace, some log hold, fire log holders, armor stands, large table chairs. This place is big. Nice flower box pots or boxes at the window there. Like that. Looks good. Where are we going? We go down this way. Small little hallways. It's kind of like a little maze going on. Ah, oh, we've got a range. No place is complete without a range. Yes, and that's where all your weapons go. Perfect. A little bit of target practice. Right next to the bedroom. You're not going to want that. That's going to be loud. Right, let's push on this way, see what we can find. Okay, now we've got here, we've got basically it's the armory, really. Looks like it. I mean, there's a guitar down there. Ah, uh, well, you can use it as a weapon. Why not? I like the beat, but the, the fact that there's no low beams, it's all just kind of sat into the ceiling. Just, that's one thing that um, drives me nuts with the building in this game is that you need beams and support beams everywhere. Like, literally everywhere. Kind of ruins some builds if there's too many, you know, because you can't get the, the support that you need. Another bedroom, which is nice. A couple of wash, ba wash basins there. You've got uh, more armor stands. Nice view of the garden. Right, what's next? Where are we going? This way? This will another room yep another bedroom some more stands got the table with head okay nice head on the table there hmm i don't know why that's in there but it is the view is amazing though look at that the view from the top floor is going to be pretty damn good if you ask me what's in here we have the kazi nice nice toilet 
Great view as well. Right, let's head up. Here we go. We are upstairs. Wow, this is... Uh, we'll go this way first. This is nice. Nice roof. Nice high roof there. And look at the beams. The support beams are like really tight into the roof, which are good. And they're not just kind of spread across. I like that. Kind of got the uh, skylights going on as well. Got the uh, gore chairs. Nice seat. Oh, disco area. We got a party zone. Nice little area. I mean, you'd be, well, pretty safe behind that, wouldn't you? Let's face it, right? Got ourselves a party zone. Got the DJ area. Guitar. Music boxes going on. Multicolored lights. He's using the light mod. Nice. Great view. Look at that. Yeah, this is nice. Have a little gig up there. Right, what's going on down here? Oh, it's just a little seating area so you can chill. A bed. For those uh, for those ones that just fancy a nap when they've had a few too many beers. I like the ceilings. The ceilings are really nice. I like it when it's like minimal, like, beams. It's tidy. It's really tidy. I like it. We've got the fire pit area up here too. That's nice. I like that. Kind of freestanding. Oh, no, it's not freestanding. you got it supported over there. Oh, okay. Got it supported over there, and then you just cut the beams out across the bottom and then stuck the corners in. Nice. And we've got the windows leading into the garden again. And another great view over there. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Right, I think that might be this place done. Run downstairs, make sure we've got everything. Okay, there you go. That's what we're looking at. That's not bad. That is big. I like the design of it. I like the way it looks. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. All right, let's see if we can find some more. Right, back onto the zipline system. Let's see where this bad boy takes us. Uh, we've got another house down there. I can see that. And by the lake, we'll get there. Right, what have we got here then? Potential just like a little fishing area, to be honest. Yeah, there's a lot of fishing traps. I mean, this is a nice spot, let's face it. Uh, this is one of my favourite spots. I just like the way all the fog and everything looks nice. All the mist and all that lot that's coming in. And it, whoa, almost fell into the water. Just a tiny place, this one. It's just a little one compared to the mansion. Yeah, fishing shack. I mean, you've got to get your food from somewhere, right? And this is perfect. If you've got a zipline system that runs up and down, you've got a crap ton of water. This doesn't freeze, I don't think, either. So uh, you could just use this as constant supply of water. Little trap. You know, I never use those traps. I just never use them. Got ourselves a nice little seat. In Some, a corpse or two. Nice little seating area. Man, this is peaceful. And the fact that it's all connected with zipline system, it's easy travel, right? Come out of the main base, travel down here, get what you got to get, zipline back up. Right. Uh, I don't think there's any more ziplines coming from this base, so back up to the big house and... Oh, hold on, there's an upstairs. Didn't even see that. What's up here? Little secret. Oh, bed. Okay, yeah. Little bed area. Okay, so we've gone past the starting area where we, we uh, spawned in. Going to take the zipline system back around and see where it goes this way. I like the little fencing just to make sure you don't just ping straight through the hut and straight off the other end. Ah, here we go. I never, I'd never thought this was bloody end. It's going on forever. <laughs> I've ziplined across the entire map. I've started over there. Right, so we've got what looks like a giant mansion over there, but we've also got this little thing here, so we're going to have a look at this. Nice round building. Let's have a little look, see what we got here. Looking good. Nice little bedroom. I like these round buildings. I mean, it's the best you people can do, I suppose, with what we've got. If they would just let us build out of triangles, I'd imagine that would be quite difficult. Squares and triangles... Um, where are we? That is locked. That probably just... Nope. That is music box. Oh, God. Shut up. There we go. 
yeah, that just leads outside. All right. Well, I mean, I didn't have to rip that down anyway. It doesn't matter. This isn't his actual save. This is, uh, he sent it to me, so I'm not messing anything up. Yeah, I like this. This is nice. Kind of like a circle base there. I like it. And then down here, we look like we've got a little decking area. I still believe he's building places, but this is what we've got down here. What was that in the tree? Oh, I don't think he placed that. I think that's just spawned in like that. It's a bit random. Yeah, it looks like a nice little decking area. I think he's still building locations, so he'll get around to it. All right, here we are. That is a lot of grinding traps down there. It's like a whole wall of them. Obviously, spawned them ones in, because you can only get a certain amount of night fives on one map. Right, let's just ditch that there. Let's have a little look at this. Ah, so he's doing that little building technique. Okay. I know what that one is. I've seen videos on it. Yeah, nothing's getting in there. Sort of having to reset all them, though. That's the one thing about the traps is you've got to keep resetting them. If you haven't got a Calvin, then you have to reset them manually. And his Calvin was dead on the sofa, so... Definitely hasn't got one. Right, there's giant stairs over there. Let's have a little look to what we've got going on down here. We'll check out this little place here, and then we can move on to the bigger house part. Looks like... I don't know what that was. Little trap going off. Potentially still building. A bit of wood going on down there. So, yeah, I'd, I'd say he's still building. We've got, I'm going to guess, a garage. I like the way these little garages look. They look really nice. If I can open up the door, it'd be amazing. There we go. Yeah, I like I like this with the, the stone at the front. And then you've got the small walls on the side. Got the sledge going on. Little fire in here. Yeah, I like that. Little paths. What was that? Oh. Uh oh. It's a rabbit. By the looks of it. Never mind. It's now dead. <laughs> okay, so that happened. So we've got a nice little A-frame there. I like that. The nice steep roofs there. I do like that. Let's have a little look at this gazebo area. This little path that heads in. Seating area. And that wall's pretty insane. So it must block it off all the way around. Keep the area clear and safe. We'll have a little check of that in a minute. So there's a there's a rope that goes up there as well, and there's a zip line that goes that way. So now I'm real confused. So apologies if I miss locations. It's not my fault. It's uh I've tried my best. Right, what have we got? We've got an A-frame building. I like these I like the way these houses look. They just look really nice. Nice steep point there. Always looks good. I do like it. Let's have a little look inside. Ooh, this is nice. Fire pit, seating area, fish, obviously food, dining room tables, another chilling out area. This is obviously under the house. I'm guessing that gets you to like bone storage and wood storage and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Just gets you to all the storage areas, I suppose. What is that? Oh, it's a double stack stone storage. Okay, makes sense. Let's go back up. Right, what else have we got? Seating area, open plan. That is big. This. Logs. Oh yeah, logs behind the door. Nice, keep it hidden. Sticks as well. A lot of room, so I believe he's still decorating. But that looks nice. Look at that for a view. How much would you want to live in a place like this? I know I do. It's scary because it's right on the edge of a cliff, though. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Right, what we got over here? Nope. There we go. I like these, these little doors. I like how he's done them. They're all different sizes as well. Maybe it's because the way he stomped them into the floor. Yeah, I think it's the floor underneath. It's a bit uneven, so it's, uh, it's come out as like a little slope, but it's nice. Takes you out into like a decking area. See where he's put his sledge there. Why is that there? Is it? You can't move it. Oh. Maybe it's a way of getting wood up or stopping people from getting in. That's a huge defensive wall we got there. That is nice. I like that. Can I get in the window? Saves me going through the door. Nope. Okay. 
So that is that. Uh, let's go upstairs. Get stuck behind there. Let's go upstairs. See what's going on up there. So we got this to be the top of the house. Oh, almost ran out there then. That would have been bad. Some random doorway. Oh, it's the zip line system out. Okay, we'll have to take that, figure out where it goes. We've got a load of armor stands. More dining area. Little bed area there. Another one. Another one there. Seating area over the... That view's great. See whoever's coming in on the zip line as well. Definitely know you've got visitors then, wouldn't you? Uh, we've got a... I'm guessing that's from downstairs. Just zip line the firewood straight up. Actually, it's a good idea. Because it, uh, you, you just have to throw it in there and it, it go, just falls in. See? Zip line that up. What we've got here, we've got storage area, which is cool. And a lot of rugs. Nice and relaxed. Nice and comfy. Nice high ceilings as well. A great view. I like the way you've done the stone between the two beams there. That's pretty cool as well. I like that. Right, let's push on. Okay, so this is what we're looking at. Ah, some nice chimney brush you've got going on there as well through the roof. I do like the, the like the steep A frames like that. So we've got like a little uh, a little unsafe area there. Wow. Okay. So there we've got like a little seating area or a little area here. Man, that would be a bit scary when it's standing on the edge of that. And then we've got over here, we have the giant wall that runs through the one side. Stop anything from getting in. Little guard towers there on the trees. Little treehouse system. Going on in these. Not much. Just little treehouse system. Okay. Still looks good. And then we've got the giant stairs leading up the side to nothing just yet. Right. Okay. Let's uh, let's take the zip line system. We'll take it that way. We'll see where it goes. All right. This leads us. Almost fell in. Ah, oh, just a little, little hut by the pond by the looks of it. Little hut by a lake. Yeah, it's just a little, little lakeside hut. I like these little huts. They're so cool. Like, there's so many beautiful spots in this game to build in. There's so many nice spots. Like, it just... You want to build everywhere and everywhere at once, but it just takes so long to build. You can't, unless you obviously use log hack and stuff, then it's it's pretty quick. But even then, it still takes time. Yeah, this little fishing hut. It's a way to get food, I suppose. Okay, cool. Right, let's go back. We'll take the zip line over into the snow. Okay, what have we got down there? Got look, what looks like probably a future build. Up in the snow here. It's taking ages to get here, I'm not going to lie. This zip line system is pretty damn big. Right, let's have a little nosy. See what's going on here. Oh, it's a hot spring. Oh, he's built one of the hot spring systems. Oh, can I get in? Let me in. Yeah, it's a hot spring. He's built one of the hot spring systems. Kind of makes sense, yeah. I know where this is. Show you on the map. We are here. So you can see that the uh, big footprint lake. The two islands are there. So it's kind of like there. This is a good spot. Definitely is in the middle of building something. Maybe a resort or something. Look nice here. Especially with the hot springs. Alright, let's keep pushing on. Okay. Alright, we're at a location. Where are we? So we've got a couple of zip lines that lead down here. This looks like a storage place. There's one that leads down to the beach and there's one that leads off in that direction. Don't quite know where that goes, but... There's just so many bases and stuff scattered around on this island right now. and I'm trying to find the ball. I will get him. Looks like he's still potentially building this place. It's another big mansion. I like how it's all connected up with zip line systems, though. Let's have a little look. What have we got over here? So we've got a uh, potentially a storage hut. Yeah, storage hut. Log sorting kind of stone sorting system there. Nice important one there to get the stones and logs in and out. 
This is nice though. I like this with the logs going up. There's like a road. Then it separates off into some directions to the gate. I don't know where that goes. Probably to that building that he's still building. We'll have a little look down here and see what's going on in this one. All right, what we got? Nice high ceilings. It's obviously it's empty. Still decorating, still building. Fireplaces sunken into the floor there. A little wooden bridge. Oh, there's a big gap there. <laughs> little wooden bridge going on there. We'll go up here. Easy to get back up. It's just the shell of a building at the moment, like I said. Looks like he's still building this one. It's really nice, though. Love the fireplace and the chimney breast going up the side of the building there. Uh, that part is locked. Get rid of that. Lob that away. Nice little seating area. Again, protective fence all the way around. I like the way that is, though. Nice little balcony area. It's kind of higher up floor, just looking over the bottom part. Oh, this is under there. It's a golf cart under there. <laughs> okay, just cram a golf cart back under the under the house there. Nice little seating area here. Okay, there's a tree in the house. <laughs> and then it will be potential rooms, dining room areas and stuff upstairs. Quite large. That takes you back downstairs to the other area. This is very large. I think he's just... Uh, the problem with this game, like I've said it so a million times, is there's not a lot of decorative items. So when you kit out a house and you build something huge like this, trying to find things to decorate it with is a bit of a struggle. That looks nice. That would be the way I was meant to have come in. But I fell off. So we'll go this way. Let's have a little look. Yeah, that looks good. like it. Nice little... Bed area. Nice. So it's basically like a giant house. Like mansion. Okay. So I think we're at the last place now. This is the helipad area. And I think he's just built like a little house down it. Just on one of the uh, one of the helipad platforms. This is where I've got my current base build. Those of you who want to know where it is on the map. Show you. There we go. We're just down there on the beach. On the other side of the island, the endgame bunker's just in that direction there. Let's see what he's got over here. How do we get in? Do we just run around? Nope, because the electric fence goes all the way around. Uh, Where's the... Oh, here we go. We'll get in this way. Little garage area. Nice little car parked spot right there. Nice little garage. Got ourselves some little storage area. We could probably go up there, but I don't think there's much. No, it's, it's empty. And we've got the plating stations. Guessing this is where he does it all. That's a lot of traps. They can't run down here, though, surely. Unless that's if they jump off the top. So I've never seen them run around. Let's have a little look in the hut. What we got going on in here? We've got plants. Food. Fish traps. Nice little secure part there. Then we've got the decking area out the back. With Oh yeah, I forgot these bodies are here. I built over the top of them. They're not on my one. I do like this area. It is such a nice area. And then where else have we got? We've got upstairs. More storage. Back to back shelving actually looks really nice. I kind of like that. I might have to steal that idea actually. I like the way that looks, although it might be a bit of a pain trying to get something off it. I'm not sure. I need to build a bigger storage area, I think. My storage area isn't all that. I've got to revamp mine, but that looks good. There's a, You get a lot of loot that spawns down here. That's why, um, why I originally built it. Yeah, nice little area there. That is for the zipline system in and out. And then we've got the chilling out area down by the beach. So, yeah, that is Intercity's uh, map base tool. He's just built loads of little houses all over the place. I know he likes to build builds a lot of stuff all over the place, different locations. So that's pretty good. So yeah, thanks for coming guys. Thanks for watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more, subscribe. Also, I've got a Discord links in the description. If you've got a base that you'd like me to see, feel free to uh, drop me a DM in there and I'll see about doing a tour on it. Also, I've got a Patreon page. Link is also in the description. All support is very much appreciated and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for coming. Bye.